Oh. There's nothing shameful about using the bathroom. We all do it. We just prefer to do it in private. Everybody deserves a little privacy when they're in the bathroom. If your grown-up is in the bathroom and the door is closed, unless it's a dire emergency, leave them alone for a blessed minute. They've earned it. Now, if you have to go to the bathroom and you find that the door is closed, that's an indication that somebody else is inside. Knock. Two times anymore is egregious. And then you listen and wait patiently for a response. Don't jiggle the handle. It only stresses people out. Wait. Someone's in here. Just a minute. Out in a sec. Let's talk about some rules for number one, shall we? If you choose to stand, don't just lift the lid but lift the seat as well. Gentlemen, remember, always aim. And if you miss, which let's be honest, even the best of us does sometimes, you clean up after yourself and don't forget the floor. Ugh. Finally, once you're done, lower the seat and the lid. Let's talk about some rules for number two. If there's a fan, use it. And you guys, remember to wipe thoroughly. Enough said. The average person uses 8.6 squares of toilet paper per wipe, but really you only need one, two, three, four, or maybe five squares. It takes 384 trees to make the toilet paper that one person uses in a lifetime. You guys, save some trees. Am I right, Cherise? Yes. One important rule for everyone, whether you number one or number two, is don't forget to flush. Nobody wants to flush for you. And be sure to check that all evidence of your visit has disappeared. You may need a second flush. Let's play a flushing game. Which of the following things should you flush down the toilet? I mean, me. a number one, a number two, or a number 357, always wash your hands. Water, soap, and a lot of scrubbing will do the trick. Happy Birthday or the ABCs are great songs to sing while you're scrubbing. Sing the ABCs with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Why do we wash our hands, you ask? Great question. There's tons of bacteria that lives in the bathroom, and not just yours, but everyone else's as well. When we wash our hands, we're preventing the spread of germs that can make us sick. After you're done, if you're in a public restroom or you just feel like you need to, you can turn the water off with a paper towel. You can also turn off the lights and open the door with a paper towel as well. If you're an older kid, here are some additional rules for you. If you use the last of the toilet paper, be sure to put on a new roll. It's just polite. And in the bathroom, you get in, you do your business, and you get out. Nobody wants to wait for you. You guys, no eating in the bathroom. Ew. And finally, 
Don't use your feet to flush. Why? Because your shoes are filthy. Instead, if you don't want to touch the handle, you can grab some toilet paper. How many different names for bathroom can you think of? Washroom, latrine, the loo, lavatory, the restroom, the commode, the privy, the water closet, the facilities, the necessaries, the john. No, no, that is a person's name. No, you guys. Mm. Well, kids, I don't know about you, but I learned a lot from me today about bathroom etiquette. So much so that I gotta go again. Excuse me. Oh my God, my lips look amazing too. Oh, hi guys, it's me, Unique. That's right, your favorite social media and digital content brand manager for Mr. John's Music. Um, it's time for us to monetize these amazing videos that we're sending you. That's right, because we want to eat. So I'm going to put some links so that you can pay what you can or whatever, right? Right? Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.